What's going on YouTube, Geosnark here. So in today's video we have a new dopamine jailbreak update that was released and you should definitely update as soon as possible because it does come with some important fixes for your device. This video is brought to you by any unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIMLock. Check the program out in the link below. A free trial is also available for both Windows and Mac OS. So the dopamine jailbreak for iOS 15.0 up to 16.6.1 on A9 through A16, M1 and M2 devices has received an important update. And if you go ahead here on github where it's completely open source you can also go here to releases tab and see the latest update 2.0.10 this one has a pretty large changelog over here released two days ago and it says that it fixes jailbreaking not working when developer mode was disabled it says that developer mode will now be automatically enabled in non-persistent way for current boot also fix an ecp connections failing after some time on arm 64 so apple watch vpn stuff like that fix termin usd crashes on arm 64 re-enable jailbreaking jailbreak into session manager, automatically fix wrong permissions for private and private reboot when jailbreaking, and fix app icons disappearing or no longer opening on OTA updates. The jailbreak is now available in both IPA and TIPA format over here. You should install it with Trollstore. It also says that it requires Trollstore 2.0.13, so make sure you have the latest Trollstore available. And of course, the update should be installed as soon as possible because of the large amount of bug fixes over here. Now, it's not a good idea to use an older version of Dopamine, especially older than 2.0.9. In fact, previously 2.0.8 2.0.7 and stuff like that, everything down to 2.0 have been completely removed. And if you check out in here on the assets, none of these have the IPA file anymore. That's because in 2.0.9, a very bad security issue was actually addressed that allowed App Store applications to essentially obtain full system capabilities like root and file access and stuff like that. So OPA 334, the developer behind Dopamine, removed all other versions. So especially if you're running 2.0.8 or older than that, it's a great idea to update right away to 2.0.10. So that's basically it. Get the latest update for Dopamine Jailbreak. Dopamine does support tweaks and themes. It is a rootless jailbreak, but rootless and rootful jailbreaks aren't exactly that different, especially not as different as you may think. Rootless jailbreaks can do exactly what rootful jailbreaks can do, down to like 99% of it. So you shouldn't worry about that. You should still be able to install your tweaks. Anyway, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.